Hey everybody! Today is an 18th day of our 20 day awesome web challenge. My name is Tina and today we will be looking more into some psychological tips that might help you to sell your products and maybe not just on your web pages, this could be also useful in your regular daily life basis. Why are these psychological tips important? Well, I wouldn't say that they are the most important part from this 20 day challenge, but they are still kind of useful, I think. And even these little tips and these little small things could help you to increase your revenues and increase your sales. So why not to try it? Most of these tips I'm going to introduce to you are based on the book Predictable Irrational by Dan Ariely. It's a very nice book, it's very easy to read it. So if you are more into books, go ahead, just grab this book and go through it. It's very interesting, there are much more points and tips than, than I'm going to introduce to you. So let's see this I have prepared for you. The first tip from my side is about the packaging. And I don't mean right now how you are going to pack your product and send it to your customers. What I mean is how you are offering your products. Um, the basic idea is that if you are having one product and you are showing your customers just one product, they will be thinking and deciding if they are going to buy it or not. So the answer is yes or no. But if you are going to show them two products, two packages, let's say, they are going to think if they should buy the package or the product A or the product B. So it's not yes or no, but it's decision A or B. You see the difference? And then even better is actually to put there a third package. Have a third pa three packages, where the first one is the most cheapest one, then you have the middle price, and then you have the most expensive one. So basically the difference is just in the price. Of course you need to put there some added value in the most expensive one, right? And the idea is that most of the people in the world, they don't want to buy the cheap crap. You just don't want to have something like this at home, right? Just from a psychological point of view. And on the other side, if the product is like the VIP product, the expensive one, the most of the population are fixed that they cannot afford this or this is too expensive for me, I'm not going to go for that, I don't need it. So the uh, the idea is that there is a high chance that they will just go for the middle one and buy the middle product. So it's very nice and you can work with this uh, to sell or to focus your middle product or the one you want to sell most, where you have the biggest revenues or you need to just get rid of it, whatever is the reason behind, to just put the product in the middle and put there something cheaper and something more expensive. Maybe you have even noticed that most of these e-commerce or online product services are trying or selling their product in this version also. They have always these three uh, different packages because they are trying to push you in the middle one. These are actually just some basic ideas with these packages. But if you want to explore it a little more, I would really recommend you to go grab that book and go through the book because there is uh, much more opportunities and much more information about these packages. So if you want to dig a little deeper, go ahead and check that book. Second tip is about your prices. And right now I mean how do you write your prices? What font and size of the font are you using? Well, the idea is that if you are using big fonts, big sizes and a thick font, the people are thinking that, oh, this is so expensive because the price is so huge. So it's actually much better to just try to use a smaller font and smaller size and the thinner font because in that case the price doesn't look that scary. And one more thing is that it's actually better to have there are less numbers. What I mean by less numbers is that you don't write their cents. So if something costs 99.99, .99, it's better to have there just 99. Because subconsciously, the people are thinking that the price is bigger or higher 
if there is 99.99. So it's better to have there just 99 because then they are more likely to buy the product. Third psychological tip is actually about the free stuff. And well, generally, people like something for free. They feel that they got something for free and that makes them actually more happy. Even though they are actually not getting anything for free, if you think it through. And what I'm talking about, some examples. Uh, if you have some products on your eShop for, let's say, $58, and then you have plus $6 for shipping, they are actually altogether paying $64, right? Because you need to pay somehow the shipping. But if you twist it, and if you say that this product is for $64, and then you get the free shipping, so altogether they are still paying $64, but in the second option, the people are generally feeling more happy because they got something for free. Fourth tip is also about something for free with a comparison with something for $1. There's actually a huge difference, even though from a rational point of view, again, it doesn't look like it. It's still like just the $1. It's almost nothing, right? But if you have on your web page something for free, you're most likely get the more subscribers. On the other hand, if you have something for $1 or some similar amount of money, you will get most likely less subscribers, but these subscribers will be more ready to buy more your products. And actually, they had to already make some effort and I mean that they actually had to go to their wallet, put out the credit card, type the details on your web page, and actually buy this thing for $1. So this is the huge difference between the subscribers for free and the subscribers for $1. And I'm not saying that one is better than the another. It always depends on the case what you need them for. Last but not least, psychological tip is about how to make good pressure on your potential customers. What I mean right now, I believe that you all been on the web pages and sites like booking.com or these sites where there's always something popping at you like, oh, 10 other viewers are viewing this project. Um, this is just limited edition for you for only 20 minutes. Uh, you can buy this product for this special price just until this and this date. This is something limited and making pressure for the customers. And I know that we all are very aware that this is just some pressure which they are trying to make on us. But it's still working. We are still buying these products and it's still better than if it's not in there. And I, uh, I mentioned the booking.com. This is the company where they are making a huge testing um, for example, if you and your friend will open the booking.com at the same time, you will find most likely a small difference in, the, in, the, in these sites. It's not going to be something huge, but there will be something small different. And they tested very well that this actually works the best. They are making the best conversion thanks to these popping uh, notes, uh, how uh, you need to buy it right now or you are not getting the best price. So this is also something you can use on your web page. But these were all the psychological types from my side. I hope you found them useful, if not useful, at least interesting. But I would totally recommend not to stuck with the interesting part. You should have these 20 to 30 minutes right now time to actually implement these tips. So think through these tips I mentioned and uh, try to implement it. Spread the work to your team because these tips and can actually help you to increase the conversions. I know they are super rational, they are super weird, but they are working, so use them. And that's it for today. If you didn't see the previous videos the previous days, just check the channel, subscribe to the channel, or go to our webpage, which you can see in here or in here, not sure. <laughs> 
Have a nice rest of the day. Give a thumb up if you liked it. Subscribe if you didn't already. And see you tomorrow. Have a nice rest of the day.